Hey guys, and welcome back to another one of my videos. So if you're someone who uses VRChat avatars and you notice that not all of them come with clothing, so some avatars are left completely naked and they don't have a shirt or they don't have a set of pants or shorts, whatever. Today I'm going to be showing you how to kind of make your own clothing in a cursed way to say like that, but I mean, you'd be surprised at how the results work. Now, before we get started with the video, I would like to say this may not work for every VRChat avatar. You have to understand that there's so many different VRChat avatars that one singular trick isn't going to work for all of them, but I'm still going to show you it and hopefully it works in your case. So for this, you're going to need Substance Painter. You can do this in Photoshop or Krita, so any 2D texturing software, but I would recommend Substance Painter or GIMP. And in my case, I'm going to be using this avatar right here, just for a example. So what you're doing is basically you're going to draw on a set of clothing. So let's say in my case, I want to do a t-shirt and we're just going to texture a nice t-shirt. You can find some drawings or some templates online if you're not completely sure of what shape of clothing you want. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to be texturing on a shirt. Back in the day in VRChat, there weren't any clothing. You know, people weren't making clothing for every custom avatar. So this is how people got around uh, to have clothing. People actually would draw on a set of clothing and it was actually pretty convincing. You'd be surprised. I mean, it sounds silly, but it actually used to work quite well back in the day. So here's my little example of the shirt. As you see, I just took one main color for the base and then I just used a black color or any other darker color to just uh, make, make sure to mark where the shirt ends or the piece of clothing ends. And basically from here, once you have the clothing, you're just going to export these textures out of Substance Painter or whatever program you're working on. If you're using Substance Painter, we're gonna type in fabric and you're going to go get this fabric right here. Uh, as you can see, it has that texture of like a t-shirt. And so what you're doing, make sure you're using one um, singular size. What you're doing is you're taking this fabric material and texturing over the t-shirt. Make sure to not change the size of your brush as you do this because it may look distorted. Now, my, my example here isn't perfect here because I'm just doing this for demonstration. Once you have a normal map like this, uh, before exporting, uh, make sure you rename the first texture that you exported or import it in Unity just so that it doesn't overwrite it. Now, of course, if you do end up doing this, you would uh, draw the clothing on top of your already existing textures. If you don't know how to export textures, you just want to you just want to drag them into this side here. Go texture assets and import and then you'll have it on the left side here. Just scroll through and it should be highlighted with a little blue box. There it is. And then you're simply just going to take that and put it on a new layer. So once you have both of those things exported and done, we can head into Unity. In my case, I then put my textures under the clothing I was texturing. But again, I'm just doing this for an example. So we're going to put that on and we're going to take the normal map that we created as well. You're going to drag it in the normal map fix and drag it in the second normal map as well. And now as you can see, your skin here is going to be smooth, but then the clothing piece is going to be textured. And from the distance, actually, this may trick some people into thinking you have clothes on. I will show a little example on screen of someone who textured a suit on a model. And as you can see, you are able to pull off that kind of fake clothing look. But if your avatar doesn't come with clothing and if you don't know how to use Blender and you would want to get around and still have clothing, this is a really nice method to do it. And it's been working for me quite well. Of course, depends on how intricate your clothing is, but for simple shorts, pants and shirts and hoodies, it can get a pass, it can work. I hope that this video helped you out and showed you something new. Let me know down in the comments if you actually knew that people used to do this and if you're going to do this yourself. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you around. Peace.